So today, we have a great recipe for all you potato lovers out there that want to eat some crispy potatoes but without the guilt. Today, that is exactly what we're doing. We are making the most incredible oven baked crispy potatoes. Now, the beauty of this recipe is that we're using just one tablespoon of olive oil to crisp up the potatoes, but we're not going to sacrifice any of the flavor. In fact, these potatoes are so good and they're so crispy, you will not believe they're not fried. Really quick before we begin, a shout out to one of my newest patrons, Barbara Eastman. Barbara, thank you so much so much for becoming a patron of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's begin by cutting two medium-sized potatoes that have been washed and patted dry into thin rounds that are one eighth of an inch thick, which is a little over a quarter centimeter. And as you can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potato as it adds more nutrients and flavors to the potatoes. But if you prefer, you can peel the potatoes. And also remember as you're cutting the potatoes that they're all the same thickness, that way they evenly cook, and you don't want to go any thicker than one eighth of an inch, otherwise the potatoes are not going to crisp up. Once all the potatoes have been cut, I'm going to add them into a large bowl. And we'll fill it with some cold water, just enough to barely cover the potatoes and let it sit here for at least 30 minutes. This is the most important step in this recipe. By letting the potatoes sit there in the water, it's going to help extract some of the starch out of the potatoes. This is one of the main steps that give these potatoes that beautiful crispy texture when you bake them in the oven. While our potatoes are soaking in the water, let's get our oven preheated. I'm going to put it in the bake and broil option, which is the bottom and top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oven can't do both functions and only the bake option, which is just the bottom heat, no big deal. Later on in the video, I'll let you know how to perfectly crisp up these potatoes using just that option. After leaving our potatoes to sit for at least 30 minutes, I'm going to drain them into a colander and rinse them under some cold running water to remove any of the excess starch in the outside of the potatoes. Then I'm going to add the potatoes over a dishcloth, making sure they're all in a single flat layer. And we'll pat the potatoes completely dry. For the next step, I'm going to line a baking tray with some parchment paper. You can also use foil paper here. I just prefer to use the parchment paper as it ensures that once we bake these potatoes, they don't stick to the surface. And we'll add our potatoes into the baking tray once again, making sure they're in a single flat layer. Then I'm going to measure out one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters and brush the olive oil on each slice of potato, making sure you do it on both sides. Then I'm going to season the potatoes with a kiss of sea salt. You only have to season them on one side. Some freshly cracked black pepper. a dash of garlic powder, and just a hint of dried rosemary. Now you can use whatever spices and herbs you want to flavor these potatoes, but this very simple combination right here really gives these potatoes a beautiful pop of flavors. And we'll add our potatoes into the preheated oven. Once again, bake and broil option. That's the bottom and top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Like I told you earlier, if your oven only has the bake option, which is just the bottom heat, you just get in there about every 15 minutes or so and flip the potatoes around. That way they evenly crisp. After about 40 minutes, those potatoes should be perfectly cooked with a beautiful crispy exterior. I'm going to remove them from the oven. Now every oven heats differently, so it might take you 35 minutes or even 45 minutes. Either way, start checking at the 35 minute mark. You don't want to burn these potatoes, otherwise they're going to have a bitter flavor to them. And we're going to leave our potatoes to rest just for about 5 minutes at room temperature. That way they can settle. This is the final step to give these potatoes that beautiful crispy texture. After about five minutes, these potatoes are ready to be served. I'm going to transfer them into a serving dish. Check it out. Our recipe's done. Oven baked crispy potatoes. Very easy to make, simple ingredients, and truly a guilt-free experience. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. All right, folks, here we go. 
No, that's a crunch right there. It's absolutely delicious with the very simple seasonings. And the beauty of these potatoes that we used just one tablespoon of olive oil for two potatoes for that incredible crunch and the flavors were not compromised. You saw this, very easy to make, Use, uh, made using the simplest ingredients. Try these potatoes at home, they are so good. They're gonna completely blow you away. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.